We're now in a situation where we are pushing through an irrational decision based on a criteria in a green book that has been changed on the assumption that improvements in infrastructure are going to happen that haven't happened. It's going to lead to reduced connectivity, not only within our region, but across the whole of the north. And yet again, this is coming down to running an economy in a London centric way for connectivity to London, where we already have good connectivity to destroy connectivity across the north and between the northern cities. And I don't think I'm the only person who thinks they're living in a Kafka novel where we have this strange conflation of rules have led us to this situation that everybody thinks is a bad situation. And the role of politicians in these times is to clear these log jams and to say, look, the rules may have got us here, but the rules are wrong. They've produced an unintended consequence. So I'd like to put forward a little proposal that the timetable changes are put on hold, that a task force set up by the DFT, but led by someone independent, that the task force examines the constraints, puts forward options to resolve them both short term and long term, works out the best optimal solution, not based on decisions made eight years ago, but on what will work now, and then puts forward a plan to introduce the timetable changes slowly aligned to growth in capacity.